Uh, the sixth principle, mana, uh, means uh, the translation is uh, all power comes from within. All power comes from within. So that means we are each a part of an infinitely powerful universe. And that powerful infinitude converges at the point that I call me. So I have all the power and you have all the power. And this is, this is a really big one because this is, this is, this is the one that reminds us that, that uh, you, your journey through life can only come through you. And that, and, even, and that nothing has authority over you unless the authority in you gives your authority away to it. And so, and so it's saying that, that we always have the authority. And if you look at the word authority, there's that word author, to author our lives. That's what we can do when we, when we claim our own authority. And so, so I have all the power and you have all the power. My Hawaiian teacher, he says, I don't ever get disappointed in anyone because people are always gonna do what they're gonna do. And what he's getting at is that, is that, uh, that nothing that, that you, you uh, I have the power to let, think, let you be exactly as you are. And if you're empowered, you have the power to let me be exactly as I am. And if you think about the nature of power, power over something is just going to lead to retaliation and fear. That's the, re that's the result. Power against something just going to lead to resistance. But the power Real power is only when we empower, because when we empower, we have the power to give away. Yeah. You know, so, so if you're thinking in, in, in so that's so much, you know, and we, 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 um, we pull away from that, which, which we don't have. We, you know, we, we, we uh, get jealous. We, you know, we, uh, um, we separate ourselves from, from those things, you know, rather than blessing them. Because when we bless what we want, even if we don't have it, we're in the, ener the energy of, of receiving it, you know, of being in that energy. Absolutely. It comes back. There's a couple of things I want to just speak to about that. Because when it comes yeah. back to it about taking 100% responsibility yeah. in the now, isn't it, to, to yeah. create that empowerment. But what would you speak to about maybe if you've had a traumatic past of some kind and then, of course you're now in the present that something might have happened even beyond when you could say yes or no as a child or you know there's so many ways but then we keep giving our power back to those moments and not back empowering mm -hmm. ourselves yeah well um uh you know my the the huna philosophy uh, is not just about the seven principles uh there there's um a practice in 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 the book that comes out of hawaii called ho'oponopono and ho'oponopono is about addressing that wounding that we received mm -hmm. and uh you know because because children children um they they take everything personally and if they're mistreated neglected indifferenced misunderstood they will make that about something about themselves it's just what kids do and that gets they're called formative years for a reason right and that gets lodged in there as a sense of self and unaddressed it's that's what's in the computer that's what that is just, you know, and so so if you were taught, it's just an example, if you were taught, I'm going to be punished if I speak up. Every time you want to speak up, you'll, you'll, you'll be nervous, you'll, 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 you'll be embarrassed, you'll be shameful. And it's only in the addressing of that because that and that's just a mistake. It's a mistaken identity that child was supposed to be able to speak up, you know. Um, and and it, so it's just a case of mistaken identity, and that's what that's what you do is that you in, in the ho'oponopono um, process, and it's kind of a, a way of being. You're extending love to that child, mm -hmm. and you're a, now because the wound was born of unlove. So you give the love now to the child, and the child starts to let it go. You know, so yeah. so yes, all of these principles, all of these principles, they're based on um, uh, they they work best when we have worked on our wounding that don't allow us the power to sit in these principles, you know? And, and, and the whole point is, is, um, is the principles ask you to look at the, those things inside you that don't allow you to create the world that you, you want. It's not because you're an idiot. It's not because anyone's an idiot. It's because we were taught things that are antithetical to our best interest that lie lodged in the unconscious mind. And as soon as we make them conscious, 
you know, but by, by actually saying, uh, uh, I'm actually going to address the fact that, that I, uh, I'm ashamed to speak up. Doesn't mean that it's going to happen like that, but that is a wound and I'm going to address it. And, and then we're in business. Yeah, you know, beautiful. So. Yeah, no, thank you. Because uh, it, it uh, from what I'm seeing or I'm picturing is almost like on one hand, we're actually working on the healing, the trauma, whatever is holding us back. Yeah. And then on the other hand, we're starting to apply the principles into our life slowly but surely and work to, to move forward. Would that be? That, and, you know, that's why I say the, 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 it, the negative narrative, it's, it's going to be there. Mm. You, you anytime you inspire or aspire to anything, there's going to be a voice inside that says, "Who do you think you are?" Or that's not for you, or 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 something, or yeah. you or you don't look right, or you're not smart enough, or you don't have enough money, whatever. And like you know, like and and with this what this what uh, this philosophy is getting at, what Ho'oponopono really is about, is about I see you there, you're just a little boy, and I know why you feel that way. And I love you, but we're going this way anyway. And if you come along with me, you're going to like it better. Yeah, okay. beautiful. You know? Yeah. And then...